Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video we are going to be talking about a couple new features that we have added to the events calendar pro plugin. One feature is related to how our short codes work and the other is related to our Elementor integration. So we have basically made it a little bit easier for you to kind of be picky when displaying events using our short codes or Elementor. You can now actually exclude categories or tags from the tribe event short code. So before you could share a tribe event short code and you could choose which categories to show, now you can actually choose which categories not to show. And similarly with Elementor, um, when you add the events module, you can actually pick and choose exactly which categories that you want to display using that Elementor um, events module. So pretty cool features. Let's go ahead and take a look at how they work. Okay, so for these features to work, we will need the events calendar, we will need the events calendar pro, and we will need Elementor. Now we don't need the pro version of Elementor, the free version will work, and you can get that right through the WordPress dashboard uh, by going to plugins, add new, and just search for Elementor. Um, to get the events calendar pro, you can head on over to the eventscalendar.com and check out the products tab. Once you have those plugins installed and activated, we can go ahead and check out these features. So First things first, let's create a new page. I'm just going to call this short code test. And I'll add a short code block. And for now, I'm just going to add our standard tribe events short code. Let's go ahead and take a look. OK, so you can see we have three events showing up here. And if we click into, let's click into this event, scroll down. You can see there's an event category cooking class. Okay, we're gonna remember that. So if we go back to our test page we created and we go back into the editor, I'm just going to add to our short code here, exclude category equals, and then cooking class. And we'll go ahead and update this and take a look at the front end. Okay, so if we scroll down, we will notice that that sushi cooking class event is no longer showing up because we excluded it in the short code attributes. So the cool thing about that, let's go ahead and click into this event and scroll down. And it has the event category of generated. I'm actually going to add a new category to this. And it doesn't matter what the category is. Let's just give it the category of dance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our page and go to the edit page. And inside our exclude category, after cooking class, I'm just going to add comma dance. We're going to update this and check out the front end. Now you can see both those events are gone. So you can exclude multiple categories simply by separating them uh, by a comma in that short code attribute. And this also works for tags as well as categories. Now, the other feature that I mentioned was related to Elementor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. I'm going to just delete this short code here. And we'll update that. And then I'm going to click Edit with Elementor. So some of you are very familiar with Elementor. You might already be familiar with the fact that there are some events calendar related modules with Elementor. So if we simply search for event, you'll see those four modules show up right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on events list. I'm just going to drag this down here, drop it there. Now, if we come back over here, first of all, you'll notice that we have a lot of options as far as what kind of content we want to display. So maybe we want to display the organizer for the events. We simply turn that on right there. And now you can see any events that have an organizer, it will display that information. But what we want to talk about in this video is if we click on event options, we can now pick and choose which categories will show. So by default, they're all showing. But if I come over here and let's say I choose dance, you'll notice now only that one event that we added the dance category to is showing. And we could come over here and add cooking class. And now we'll get the cooking class event. So this is very powerful that lets you pick and choose exactly which categories you want to show. So you could add this events list module all over the place on your website. and this part of your website, you can choose to show events in this category. And on that part of your website, you can choose to show events in this category. It kind of gives the illusion that there are multiple calendars, even though technically it's just one calendar in the back end. Choosing which categories to show can 
let you give the illusion that there are multiple calendars going on. So it's really powerful. Just one more little feature that we're adding with Elementor. Elementor is a very popular builder, so we've put a lot of effort into making sure that our plugin works really well with the Elementor plugin. And this is just one more example of that. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns or comments, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.